Um, my name is Tuan Lee, and um, I had to think really hard about how I came into this profession. Um, I want to say that I didn't start out wanting to be a teacher when I was growing up. I, I sort of felt that it wasn't a lot of what Sarah had said. It wasn't something that was instilled in me as a kid. My parents were both. Uh, I mean, it's not necessarily um, exclusive to my culture, but they were very big on me trying to enter the medical field. My father was a doctor back in the Vietnam, and um, upon coming here, both my, my parents entered the, uh, the medical field as well as nurses. Um, so growing up, they're saying, "You, have, Tuan, you have to become a doctor. You have to become a doctor." And when I was a kid, I, I just sort of left it there, hanging in my head, like, "Okay, so maybe one day I'll become a doctor." But I really was just living. Uh, the moment at the time, so I would do my schoolwork and whatever else I had to do as a kid. And then, when I went to high school, things really took a dramatic change. Um, as I began to take these AP courses and classes that dealt directly with the medical profession, phys physiology and anatomy and biochemistry, and at that age, at that time, I really wasn't ready for it. Um, and then it sort of just collapsed on me, and it really happened um, intellectually, uh, and as, as well as emotionally, because uh, at that time period, when I left high school, I was not in the best uh, emotional state. I became a, a depressed person, and but my parents still wanted me to become go into uh, college, and so I went into Hunter College when I was not ready for it, and that's where the uh, the effects of my my state really took presence, and I did very poorly in school and. To the point where I had to leave, um, and then someone sort of told me, like, you know, why don't you just go get a job or something like that? And so uh, they suggested, you know, I they gave me a suggestion for a nursery school up in uh, Chappaqua, where I began working for a while. And certainly the philosophy there is, does not at all reflect what happens here at this program, but it gave me the sort of this uh, like possibility that wait. Do I want to work with kids? And then what probably also helped was I always tell the story with a little bit of um, embarrassment that I once watched a show of Oprah. <laughs> I caught a show <laughs> um, by accident, <laughs> and uh, it was uh, it was featuring a, a certain uh, psychologist who was um, pretty well known back then, and he was sort of promoting that this idea that kids were failing in school because people were not acknowledging the difference, differences in their learning. That each child was different and that they grew up differently and that people ignored these certain emotional needs and then they would fall behind and only after they would recognize themselves, uh, people recognized it in them and that the person recognized in themselves that uh, they were able to succeed. And it struck me because I felt that that was also my story, that there was something about me that I felt that people were not looking at me as a learner growing up. At, when I was in high school, my individuality disappeared. Like no one really cared how I learned or uh, how I was, and I sort of had to bend to a system of my the, the way the system was. So that was one step. And then what happened when I was working in that uh, that nursery school? A teacher there sort of recommended um, another school, Beef uh, Westchester Community College, where I went to and met a professor named Sheila Hanna who became my, sort of my biggest inspiration because of the way she spoke about children and uh, she had this very adamant energy that was very, it really filled you up. And she would often talk about Sarah Lawrence too, like how great Sarah Lawrence was and at that time I didn't really think about it either. Um, but it's because of her that I began to sort of get deeper into this, this kind of, uh, the, the, the educational field, as well as the philosophies that are, are here too about with Dewey and um, after I left uh, her and left WCC, I did go to one more college before I came to Sarah Lawrence. I went to Lehman College, and in Lehman College I tried to take the education um, classes there, and when I went there there was this huge difference between what Sheila had taught me and what they were teaching there. There was a completely different philosophy um, that I was not very comfortable with that I had to leave that school as well. 
and then only then that I had to really really consider that maybe Sarah Lawrence was the place that I wanted to go to um, and I did 